So, after nearly, what, four decades, Zelda finally stars as the main character in her own franchise. And don't hit me with that wand of Gamelon crap. That game is not real. Come on, let's go fight Ganon's evil legions. I'll show you how. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. Look at it. Ugh. It's hideous. I wanted to touch on what this could mean for the series as a whole. And, you know, what possibilities this could open up. Echoes of Wisdom might have kicked the door open to some crazy possibilities for the future of Zelda. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm Solace. This is Solace and Dread. We produce analytical content as well as nuanced discussions on gaming. Listen, <laughs> uh, both me and my wife have been begging for Zelda to be playable for literal years. And honestly, that's what we begged for in Tears of the Kingdom as well. Zelda's had like varying degrees of coolness, but ultimately, if it wasn't a spin-off, you know, she was mostly relegated to being a damsel in distress. And we hate that for our queen. So, you know, this is giving her her long overdue chance to shine smack in the center, you know? But now that she's been a main character here, we could see it for the more serious toned games, you know, like the full 3D games. And I would love to see that, or at least to have her playable alongside Link. Zelda hasn't really gotten substantial development up until Tears of the Kingdom. And I mean Zelda as a character herself up until Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And same for Age of Calamity, where she got a ton of character development. Um, and until these games came along, we really didn't see that. And some of you are gonna hear that and go, you know, what about Wind Waker? And I'm gonna say, what about Wind Waker? You know, I, listen, I, I made a video talking about that. I, don't bring Wind Waker into this discussion. I hated what they did to that girl in Wind Waker. Anyway, that, that's not even worth discussing. And in Twilight, she was such a nothing burger. I, she was a literal puppet. Look, I'm, we're, I'm not even gonna go there. This has been coming for a while now though, uh, as this was actually one of the most asked questions to the Zelda team and Onuma himself, at least according to video game story time, to the point where it actually might've been annoying for him, but rightfully so, since, you know, all the fans, myself included, always thought that she deserved a little bit more than she always got and finally he's delivering. But what does that mean for the other titles, really? I'm just gonna come out and say it. Could Ganondorf potentially get his own game? You know, he's always had unique abilities in the few times that you do get to play with him. And I think that it, you know, could be a lot of fun to play with Ganon. It could also serve a really, really strong narrative too. Imagine for a moment, right? Where Ganondorf as a doomed Gerudo man has to grapple with the darkness that is slowly but surely overtaking him. And despite traveling the lands, gathering relics to try to stop it himself, ultimately he fails. Now, that shit would go so hard. Plus, you know, Anuma takes a gameplay first approach to making Zelda. And it would be fantastic to play in a unique way with Ganondorf. You know, I might be hoping for too much here, but maybe, you know, with this and the inevitable success of Echoes of Wisdom, the door has really been kicked wide open and we could see, you know, we already had something for Link in that style. We already had something, we now have something for Zelda in that style. Why not give us, you know, something for Ganon in that style? I would, I would love that. You know, it's not that I'm unhappy with Zelda as it was before we got this announcement. It's just, I love this franchise with my entire fat heart. I, I, I just want the formula to evolve just a little bit outside of the gameplay. That's not asking too much. You know, and since we've started down this path, let's just keep it going, you know? Anyway, last thing I want to share uh, outside of my stupid opinion is, you know, me and my wife's excitement over the announcement trailer. It, we, we lost our minds. We couldn't even believe what we were watching. What game is this? It's a remake. <laughs> I'm
Finally. Finally. You know, Hello, everyone. Hi! I'm A.G. Aonuma, Hello. producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Shut the fuck up. Thank you so much. Shut the fuck up. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Shut the fuck up. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the Stop you might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Will she? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past tell Legend me, tell of me, Zelda tell me, tell games from a top-down What does she fight with? To explain more, Magic? please take a look at this video. Okay! Okay, 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 okay! Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, Strange rifts have appeared like Link's and have taken many people, yeah. including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. She looks so cool! By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. A lot of Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables oh to get God. a leg up. Just Stop like it! That. Big brain time. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use you them swim. separately or together is entirely so up to you. Oh my gosh. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. It's, it's you like... You might be surprised like at what you discover. Yep. Or you can just build to stop it. That it's so cool. cool! Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. <laughs> That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. What? After doing so, they'll fight by your side. <laughs> monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom Stop, is key, so cool. after all. <laughs> I'll get it, because she's wisdom. That's so cool. In a Hyrule without oh Link, God. the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? <laughs> I'm so excited! I hope you enjoyed this, this demonstration this of the so Echo ability, Zelda, which channels believe. Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. Oh my god. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies the will best. change depending on the echoes Where used. Come out? In I short, we've smiling. created a game where each player's this experience so cool. will be different. I'm gonna bet holiday. The Legend of Zelda Shut Echoes up! of Wisdom launches September, September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda oh, series so will great. also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda I'm so in this excited. new adventure. I'm so excited. Well, you've now, got two copies Now, I'd like here. to return this moment <laughs> I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. And long live the Turtle Kingdom.